weigh all our decisions because they affect the future we help to create. Oh, John, stop. I like books and home because you learn how to read better and my brothers and sisters help me how to read and help me with the spelling. I love reading because it entertains me and it's interesting. I like reading scary things. It makes me get rid of my fears. My favourite book of all time is Tashi. I like the character because he's like me and he is a very funny and curious character. Books in Homes, it's a foundation that was set up to put books into homes of kids across Australia in low socioeconomic areas where books are not a priority. Children get nine books per year and they can choose those books and choice is a really good thing for them. Do you want this book? Which one, which one do you want? So if you've got siblings that are in the program as well, that means there's 18 books that go into that home over the year. So it's fabulous. They love getting their books and from the time they order, it's have our books come, have our, have our books come, you know, know that they'll be here soon. Over the year, there are three book giving assemblies. Today, we're having Meredith Costain, who's a local author, who's written heaps and heaps of children's books. So she will come in and talk to the children. Put your hands up if you like romantic stories. There's lots of kissing. Mm. <laughs> and then each child is presented with their pack of books. Sacred Heart Primary School, it's a great school and you can feel that walking in the gate. But the population of this school, it's a very disadvantaged population. A lot of children from refugee backgrounds, parents that have been through extraordinary challenges in their own lives. They need a, a hand up and those opportunities and this is one small part of that. It's made a real difference to the homes of these children too and where books typically aren't always a feature of their home life. In 2014, we did a significant community forum where we said actively to our local community, what's important to you? We had a number of priorities identified by that forum of community leaders. One of those was educational literacy. Ben came and met with me and met with some of the other schools locally. He said, well, what does this look like? What could this be? And so it ended up that it was going to be Books in Homes. And so the bank have agreed to sponsor that for three years, which is absolutely fabulous. What's exciting about this program and the other projects coming out of the community forum was that our community leaders said this is a really important thing. So to be able to bring that together with partners like Mary and the Sacred Heart Primary School here and with East Melbourne Community Bank, it's very exciting. I think they're looking for better ways to engage with community and have a bigger effect. And to me, the books in homes for our kids here, it's, it's terrific. It's one of the best parts about it, being a community bank director. It really is. And if you see the look on those faces and the happiness of the children and the pride, it makes all the work worth it. We weigh all our decisions because they affect the future we help to create. <laughs>